All things in life be fantasies for some life. But which is the true and which is a lie in all human stories, in human shit? True. No matter if you call it science, religion, or something else, there's been all concepts used by a delusional monkey with a god complex. There's a philosopher. To find the truth in a world with liars and corruption. But I want to give you one thing. Something that you have to When you find want to fight the truth, peace has always to conquer industrialized violence. Compassion has always to conquer malice and ego. The whole world of not a human like mind. And the truth will not find only by the things that you love always. Listen not to your ego, but listen to with being most <laughs> logical. And you also sometimes your fantasy to see something from another perception. You cannot always be that. But you don't have to let you by somebody else believe absurdities. People that can make you believe absurdities. Can you let commit atrocities? Veganism is easy and is the most compassionful thing you can do for the planet and its inhabitants. Any year, according to the meat industry themselves, <laughs> murder in the most biggest holocaust around something like 100 and 150 billion innocent animals in fish farms in, in excess of the fish industry just in the United in the flesh States. industry okay, in the meat industry cow titty decretion in secretion industry aka the rape cow industry AKA the milk industry, the dairy industry, AKA the veal industry, AKA the baby molested cow industry. Their bodies do not belong to humans. Their bodies belong to themselves. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs, and your habits, to deny other animals that they are free. So that you can enslave them and turn them in opulence. It's like humans have done for centuries with other of their kinds. It's not what rights are about, taking somebody else's rights away to be free. That's immoral, 
obscure and safe. 100%. You've always watched any form of injustice from the position of the victim, if you choose right or wrong. Because if you not, you become pretty easy to excuse cruelty. Make a plea and move forward. There is no counter argument against veganism. Accept it. And cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. Always being vegan. Or don't ask for some respect yourself. Because if you honestly been willing to take some innocent life, you give up your right to be treated fairly and equal. That's the laws of um, equality. You not want do it and also not first to know. And yes, there is something that's rebelled in self defense. And therefore, you can you have the right to harm somebody else if they want to harm somebody else. For example, if you see that somebody being stabbed with a knife, you have the right to take the, right and the knife out of the hands of this criminal and do the same thing to them if you want. You can also choose to not do that, but he is on that moment absolutely of his rights. That's the that's moral justice. Justice is hard, so is the truth. Maybe you think that it's being harsh and controversial to harm criminals. But we harm constant innocence in concentration camps, as we call so euphemistically, slaughterhouses, we call constant kill innocence in war because our greedy, selfish leaders want to protect their horny and selfish and arrogant land what not in the first place belong to them it all belongs to all the animals not to humans humans be not the only creatures on this planet so stop with believing that you've been a god and stop out your god complex but actually, mean in reality more and demon complex. Because no god will be a destroyer and a killer, a murderer of his innocent children. No. Who will call them then? A demon? Mara, Mara, in the Hindu mythology or religion, or how you want to call it, which kind of euphemism you want to call it, uh, you want to use. Mara well, is in the Hindu uh, religion, myth mythology, or how you want to call it. <laughs> The essence of all corruption, actually, in, in some kind of way, it is interchangeable with um, Satan. The Christian religion, 
It was also the god that tried to corrupt Buddha when I, he came to Nifara. Whatever you can call it. The light. And the freedom of all um, bad human emotions. The inner peace. When darkness and light become the reality split from away, the true become visible. And go vegan. All things have to have in common. Causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet is the only thing that I ask it. And the humans can easily live on plants only. Many vegans have shown it, so stop making excuses for things that you also don't want to dare do to do. 